So Wednesday's Guardian now, and uh, what's more boring than watching paint dry? Trying to make a light-hearted topical television show about it, Josh. Oh, yes. Uh, making an advert. Uh, yes. Which is what they're doing. Yeah, so Crown pray, uh, Paints have got a lot of um, complaints, sort of rhyming there, 215 complaints for an advert they have where it's a bunch of singers and it pulls back and reveals they're on a paint roller. Yes. And they're basically singing a story, in this case, of a couple meeting at an illegal rave. And... Uh, we have, I think we might have it. Oh, let's, let's, watch, let's... let's have a little look first. Now baby's coming and they don't know what it is. Hannah's hoping for a girl. Dave's just hoping that it's his. And they're happy the spare room's no longer grey. Cos there's a baby on the way. There's a baby on the way. There's a baby on the way. That's I mean, I find it really annoying. Oh, yeah, I'll be it's, honest. it's incredibly annoying. And yeah. It seems somewhat innocuous, but the fact is that it's got 215 complaints. Watchdog are, are considering actually looking into it. The complaints are essentially, this one person says, it's absolutely, it's absolutely disgraceful casting Hannah as a woman who sleeps around. That's not in the song so at all. So the guy sang there, he sang... Um, oh, he, I see, yeah, he's, could be. She's um, excited or something, and he's worried... That it's not his, or actually, something. I change it. Maybe that is. No, but I, do, I genuinely so I think don't. Sleep I around. genuinely don't understand why this is offensive. I genuinely don't. Someone's going to have to help me here, Steve. Why? Why are there two hundred and fifteen complaints? Why is Jenny Eclair t tweeting about it, saying, "Get this offensive rubbish"? Even Jerry Sadowitz well. tweeted yeah, how he terrible was, it was. He was upset about it. I, what, what's going firstly, two hundred and fifteen complaints ain't that many. Oh, I think in TV terms, it is. Oh actually. yeah, See, I get about that every night. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get about that. Back yeah. in the day, we did a joke about a Brexit plate that had way more than did that. Did it? Oh, man. But uh, in comparison, for, for an advert, yeah, I guess this is quite a lot. There are two complaints that people seem to have. The thing about not knowing whether it's his or not, um, someone called that everyday, everyday sexism. Does that accusation get landed against you every day? Maybe there are some questions. Uh, Jenny Eclair, though, I think it's more c complaining about a line we didn't see in the advert, yeah. saying that she's, uh, she didn't want to have kids and now she does. Hmm. This presumption that women who don't want kids will at some stage change their mind. I mean, look, I'm sure it is annoying, but it's not a reason to ban an advert. And also, but, I'm sorry to say, there is truth to it. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, Jerry. But, no, I'm, but not saying every, I'm not saying everybody. Yes, but I'm, you are. Oh, no, I'm saying <laughs> there is truth to that statement. But also, why does it matter? This is about two specific characters. Yeah. Hannah and Dave, is it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, not even real. Maybe Hannah's a bit loose. Maybe, you know, maybe Dave didn't want the kid. Who knows? It's their story. It's their truth. Yeah. It's their lived experience. They just want some great paint for this baby's room. Why can't you have a, 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 a promiscuous character in an advert? Like, what, what's that? Are they saying that basically whenever you represent uh, a woman, it has to be a certain way. Whenever you rep represent a gay person, it has to be a certain way. They always have to be good and moral and pure and, you know. Well, because the rules that this will come up against, only a couple of years ago, they brought in rules preventing sexism in adverts, which just mm. means you can't play to type. Because stereotypes yes. is part of the issue. So in most adverts, you'll just see whoever whoever's having the trait that you would presume is masculine, it'll be the woman in yeah, the advert. That, that really just annoyed me. That, there was one advert that got banned off the back of that, and that was when there, there was an advert where there was a woman with a pram. And they said that this was dangerous because it implies that women sometimes have babies. You know, but they do. The stuff that offends me is when I see like, these adverts of just rubbish dads. Right. Like, how does this nappy work? No, I think yeah. no, you got a, that's you got been, a new baby. That's been banned as well. As a, yeah, yeah, well, I know, of the, but but it, it seemed, but it's still a trope in films. And, but so and what? Sick. So no, no, some no, terrible I mean, dads. No, no, I know, but I'm not complaining. I'm not calling into the watchdog complaining about no. it. There are, but at the same time, I would argue. Maybe this is, uh, you know, the well, you know what it means. Well, that I live in, but I'm changing a lot of nappies. Well, you know yeah. what it is, right? So, you know, if I see like a, a gay character who's who's stereotypical or whatever, I don't get upset or offended or anything because I don't assume that seeing that on an advert means everyone's going to think that all gay people are the same because I know because I'm I, I know that people are a bit smarter than that. So that's mm. that's what the, this is really about. People who are upset about the idea that adverts basically filter down ideas into society and everyone starts thinking the way that the adverts told them to, and we know that's not true. It's just not true. Adverts don't work, is what you say. I feel like they really don't. I feel like adverts do have some power, some cultural power. They have power to the way they work is that they continually remind you of a product, and then if you need it, you buy it. You have to be predisposed to buying it in the first place. Although back in the day, the Tango adverts made lots of kids smack other kids around the side of the head. It so didn't got make power to them. Do. That was just children them. wanting was... an excuse to hit each other around the head. I know because I was one of them. That was literally the happiest time of my life. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. <laughs>